I don't know why I tried to do ASMR in an Indian house with traffic all around, but I'll do last one. Hello and welcome to this video on, uh, wow, that, <laughs> that intro energy went from like this to like this. Hello and welcome to this episode of I tried something, now I need to tell you about it. Um, so this time it's about gel extensions. Now I got, oh, can you look at that? Can you look at that? <gasps> oh, what's that a ring? Oh, I got, <laughs> update, I got engaged. But apart from that, um, I also got gel extensions done for the first time. And it's like a month almost since I got it. And I love it so much. And I know a lot of people had, uh, like when I posted it on Instagram, a lot of people had a lot of questions like, How is it? How does it work? So I'm gonna answer all those questions in this video uh, and uh, if you haven't subscribed yet <laughs> please do and uh, oh yeah I'm Satya by the way and I post most on Instagram but and my handle is here but I'm gonna do a lot more on YouTube as well hopefully from now on anyway so gel extensions what are they okay so gel extensions are basically like an extension they put onto your existing nail and then they cure it using gel paint and a UV light and what it does is it gives you these long nice looking nails which um, is great for people like me who I've had like stubby fingers and short nails all my life and I've hated showing my nails on videos because of that but now always on bike comes but now like I feel like you can see me right in the video like mm -hmm. Like I feel very confident with it. So um, I got gel extensions done because I was getting engaged and I knew that they would take a lot of close-ups of my hand and I wanted my nails to look good and I didn't want to be like no take only from here because that's what I usually do like I used to always cover my nails so I wanted something that would make me feel confident and not too self-conscious. These are my inspo pictures that I had. I wanted a very basic nude classic look because this was the first time I was doing extensions so I didn't want to go too crazy with it and I was also, you know, if I didn't like it, I wanted to make sure that I could hide it easily. So um, I got my gel extensions done at a place called Body Craft Salon in Mangalore. Uh, the entire process took about 3 hours and it cost about 3,500 rupees. 2,500 was just for the extensions and 1,000 was for the gel paint. Now when I first heard about the price, I was like, 3,500 for nails but when I went through the entire process I realized how much of work goes into it how much of time goes into it and it's not that you know they put it and you just have to wait for three hours there's so much work that the nail technician does throughout like throughout he was working on my nails so at least for that kind of labor and expertise the money was well spent and it has like stayed for so long so I personally think so far it was money well spent now to the process of how it went first what they did was i had some nail polish before that so they removed the nail polish so my nails were bare and then he started filing it down and making it as smooth as possible on top of that he put these like plastic those long you know like kylie jenner those long nails like cardi b those long things he put this really long ones and he basically stuck it onto my hands and then he cut it down to the length that i wanted now i wanted very like very very short nails i did not want very long nails so he told me okay i'll keep filing it down tell me at which length you want me to stop i kept telling him like make it shorter make it shorter make it shorter finally he was like ma'am you need some length to make it look like you've gotten your nails done and it gives you that nice length and like grace to your fingers so i was like okay fine i trust you like <laughs> you are the expert i will trust you after that what happened is he had to keep filing it filing it until he got the perfect shape once this was done he had to apply that gel uh finish to it so it was like a hard gel it was super sticky like you know like really thick sugar syrup like and he put it down on my nail and then he started shaping it so that gives you that extra cover like this I'll try to show you a side one. Can you see the side? Like it gives you like a little bit of height, a little bit of shape. Um, and I think this is what keeps it like a good structure. Otherwise it's a very flat, transparent, plastic like thing on your nail. So this gives it like that nail kind of feel. And then once he shaped it, then I had to put it in that UV light and then put it in there for like 
um, in different time periods. So for each layer, it had a specific time period that had to be put in. The most difficult part for me was picking the color. Now, I was fine with the length, I was fine with the shape, but when it came to color, I was just not sure because I was sure I wanted a nude color. But when you see it on those nails, no, you just can't tell the difference when it's like a small gradient of difference. So I clicked pictures of it and I sent it to Akash and I sent it to my mom and I asked my friend Masha to also come. So I was like, you know, what looks better, what looks better? Because you put the color in the end stage okay so this nail technician has been working on your nails for the past two and a half hours and the last step is to put the color and once you put the color if you have to remove it it's a very very long process to change the color if it's a light color you can layer something on top of it but again you will not get the exact shade you want so this was something i was so like nervous about and i was like I have to pick the right color, you know, I don't want to mess up. So finally, I went with this color, which is called ND10 or ND20. It came out so well. So he put two coats. With the first coat, it looked like there was nothing on. But with the second coat, I came to know what the color was. And I was really, really happy with how it came out. And I had a great experience. Like, I was so happy. I kept doing like this, 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 this. And um, when it came to the usage of it, I didn't feel like I had fake nails on. I've tried press on nails before and that was very uncomfortable. Like I couldn't do anything. I couldn't type, I couldn't do anything. But this, I felt like it's very natural. And you know, for someone who's, I've not never looked at my nails and thought, wow. So for me, like to have this experience of like, wow, oh, my fingers look so nice and like so neat and like classic. And I had a lot of events also coming up, which I had to attend in person. So I was so happy that I wouldn't have to hide my nails and I could like very confidently, you know, say hi, hi, pose for photos and stuff. So it made me feel really good. So uh, let's talk about the good and the bad of gel extensions. Um, the good, it looks great. It's quite natural. It's uh, very light. I don't feel like there's something very heavy on my hand or it's an extension. I don't feel like there's any plastic. Like it feels absolutely natural. And my nails are a lot cleaner than when I had my regular nails. Like things don't get stuck in the nails for some reason. Maintenance is so easy and it feels great and I absolutely love it. Um, another part of it is uh, it's been what? It's been like four weeks, three, four weeks since I got it done and it still looks great. I think also it's because I got a light color done, which is why even if my nail is growing, like, uh, oh, sorry, <laughs> even if you can see my nail is growing from niche se, it doesn't look as um, odd because it looks almost like it's not, like you can't see the stark contrast or the difference. Like I absolutely love it. Like I, <laughs> You can see like how much I like it but there are downsides to it as well. So certain operations are a bit difficult. I uh, I can type fine on my phone, like I can text and stuff, but because um, you have to use the pad of your thumb, um, sometimes when you're texting, like a little of the letters might go this side, that side, you might press a few buttons this side, that side. Like when I play Candy Crush and all, it's a problem because sometimes I want to press on one candy, but something else gets selected, but it's, I would say 98% manageable. It's only in few cases that you won't be able to do it. Um, the second thing is you cannot, like I realized, I couldn't make my bed, like I couldn't lift the mattress to put the sheet in because um, you do not want to have any pressure on the tip of the nail, right? Because the moment you do, it hurts so much. Like I remember once my bag slipped off a chair or something and I went to catch it and the entire weight of my bag came on my nails. And it hurt so bad. I was like, oh no, like you cannot put any pressure on it like this. So you have to be very careful of any time you're doing things that you touch it only with the pads of your fingers. The second thing is that these can get stained pretty easily since it's a light color. So I've been eating with a spoon only since I got it done and it's been fine. Like I can use my fingers a little bit here and there, but when it comes to eating like thorin and sabzi and all, which has a lot of turmeric in it um, it will turn yellow so just be a little careful of that typing is also <laughs> like I have to type like this tiki 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 tiki. and when it comes to cutting vegetables I've realized that you know um, because you're, I'm not used to having such long nails sometimes when you're holding like something and when you're cutting like I'm very conscious of the fact that because the knife is so sharp it could cut through the extension and I do not want that to happen. So I've been like cutting vegetables like this, like a Kendall Jenner moment. I'm not in a place where I feel like, oh, I just want to get rid of these so fast. There are certain things that 
I know I could do better without these nails. Like I could write better, I could paint better. I cannot box with these nails. I should be very careful when I'm lifting things. Like if I'm gymming and I'm lifting weights, like you can't fold your hands fully, na? You have to. You need to like um, do it like this. You get what I mean? Uh, am I making sense? Anyway, so that and uh, opening a can. I know Kelly, Kylie Jenner had put this video where she showed how easy it was to open a can, but I couldn't do it. I was like struggling, and <laughs> then I gave it to my brother. I was like, I can't do this. Overall, I would say that I am very happy that I got my nails done. Um, I love the entire experience. It's been very smooth maintenance. I would highly recommend it, especially if you have. an event like if you're getting engaged or married and you know that there are going to be like close up shots of your hand and you want to feel comfortable and like feel pretty then definitely get it done i would want to probably now that i've gotten it i feel like it's become like a bad habit <laughs> that i want to have it on all the time and um, how can i go back to my regular nails you know but i know that it's not really healthy for your nails to have you know like glue pressed on them and have these nails on all the time so I I think I will definitely try it again multiple times in the future but probably not an everyday affair and I'm looking forward to when I can take these off also because then I can take up things like painting again or boxing or you know do those things that I felt like I couldn't do with my nail extensions on um but otherwise overall 100% I completely recommend it it's been great and as you can see I've been using my and so much in this video making sure it's in the frame um yeah i absolutely love it i think i had another point which i wanted to cover in this video but i can't remember so if you have any questions please put them in the comments i will definitely respond to it but yes i love my nails so much and if you are a to be bride then i would definitely definitely recommend getting these done because they make you feel great and um if you are someone who wants to try out gel extensions then i would say <laughs> give it a shot but you can see my thumb is also not gone in properly give it a shot it's great subscribe if you like this video and if there's anything else you'd like me to try out let me know uh, i love going into in depth reviews of things especially like over a period of time and not like an immediate first day thing so yeah see you bye